Welcome to this very special edition of Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora, National Signing Day special, part two of National Signing Day here in February 2, 2, 2022. And Brady Denneberg of Merritt Island is here with me. We've been with him all the way through before he got the Syracuse offer, following the Air Force offer and the opportunity as a preferred walk-on with Florida. And before everything with Rhode Island, we've been in this recruitment with him all the way through to the offer from Syracuse, to the visit to Syracuse. And so now here we are today. He's gone out to see Air Force, gone out to see Syracuse, had conversations with each of these schools. Brady, welcome to the signing day special. Thank you. So I guess everybody wants to know here the question, uh, what's, what's your favorite thing to put on a cheeseburger? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so so what's, the, uh, what's going to be the decision here? We have Florida, we have Rhode Island, we have Air Force, and we have Syracuse. Um, so I, I'm going to commit to go to Syracuse, and that's where I want to go to school. What did it for you? I think I think everything overall was really everything there, how they treated me, the school, how the environment was and how everybody at the place really, really just took me in as as like like they would right when you get on the team. And they acted like I was already on the team and uh, the place where I'm going to stay. I mean, everything, everything was to my liking and I just it all it all came together when I was there and it all was like, yeah, this is where you should go. The visit clinched it for you. It sounds like, did you want to commit right there on the visit? I did, but I also knew that I had to think about things. So I didn't want to give it my, I my parents have a 24 hour rule. So I wanted to at least give it a few days and make sure I keep like thinking that. And, and I did. And that's what, that's what I think really did it for me. And then, I just, I didn't want to go anywhere else. We look at the fact that you are connected in Merritt Island to Nate Trout. Nate Trout had a fantastic career at Syracuse as a kicker. What does it mean to you that he went there and now, even though you're not his child, it's still a legacy because it's two kickers that obviously have built a relationship with each other. And now you have a connection to him and now you have a connection to Syracuse. Yeah, it's really cool. And I, when I told him he was super happy, he wanted to make sure it was my decision, not just doing it for him. And I'm not doing it for him at all. But I think it's really cool that we both get to experience that and be able to have that common area of to be able to just talk about things and that he went there. So I'm going to go there and I think it'll be really, really cool to see what will happen. How much did Coach Leg, the new special teams coordinator, we, you and I have talked about him. How, how much of your decision had to do with how he treated you? Um, well, a lot of it, but you're not supposed to choose one, the coach, but also you can when, when it's just that much of a difference, I guess. I just really, the way he recruited me, the way he spoke to me and treated me like he didn't treat me like I was, um, a kicker to him. He treated me like I was an athlete and also treated me like I was like equal to him. So he, he's going to ask me how I'm doing and he's not going to be like I'm, I'm his I'm under him so he's he's gonna treat me like I'm equal and he was really nice about it and he always came down and talked to me and hung out and it was fun what do they tell you about the kicking situation and the hopes for the future and, and and how soon we might get you on the field so as you guys have uh the sixth year he will be fantastic for me to learn from and it'll be a guy that He's won Lou Groza and knows how to be a good kicker. So it's going to be probably I'll kick a little bit in the first year, but really looking forward to getting up, working with him, him showing me things and working with Coach Lig, and then being able to learn from him to carry into my next year of football. Is the intent to make you the guy after Andre Schmidt? Yes, that's that's what's hopefully is going to happen. Are you going to wear number 15? Uh, if they let me, I, what depends on what's up, what, what kind of uh, situation they're at. And that coming from Brady Denneberg, committing to and signing with Syracuse on the same day. Did you see yourself doing this, having a commitment and a signing in your recruitment on the exact same day? No, but I knew that it wasn't going to be, because especially these last few weeks, I knew I wasn't going to be able to choose until the very end. And I still didn't even know I was going to sign today until a few days ago. So. 
I thought I was going to end up waiting, but I, I, I wanted to do it. And that, it was something are, that I wanted. Why are you so impatient with this? I know you talked about why you like Syracuse, but what made it so that you had to do it on National Signing Day? Uh, I really didn't have to. I just – maybe maybe a little bit that I would like to sign with my friends at school, but also just – there's nowhere else I'd rather go. I think, I think that even if I got offers from other places, I think I'd still rather go to Syracuse just cause it's such a good place. And when I visited, it just, everything was, everything was how I liked it. It was cool. The exclusive conversation with Brady Denneberg as he commits and signs with Syracuse on national signing day part two, Brady, we'll have plenty more to come. We'll have a deeper conversation about it. But thank you for entrusting me and coming to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora to give your exclusive announcement of signing with Syracuse. It means the world to me that I've gotten to get to know you over these last couple months. And I very, very much appreciate the fact that you came to me to give the big announcement to Orange Nation. Thank you.